welcome back to El Deco. Today we are going to be using the molds that we made in our last video to create a flower dish. And this was the original that we molded. And this is the one that we will be making. Look at how cute it turned out. And I'll show you exactly how I made this. So let's get started. Before we begin, I just wanted to show you the product we're using. I'll probably add this to the beginning of all the videos working with aqua resin out because I think many of you get this confused with regular epoxy or jasmineite. Here's how the product is labeled, a liquid and S3 powder. This is a larger size, but the label is most likely the same across various sizes. It's a similar product to jasmineite, but has a different mix ratio and properties. I will show you exactly how I mix these two components. Here is the mold that we are using for this project. It is the flower tray mold we made together in our last video. Go check out our mold making tutorial after this to learn how to make your own unique molds. Now let's mix the two components for our aqua resin. The mix ratio for aqua resin is typically 3 to 1, 3 part powder and 1 part liquid. I use a 3.5 to 1 part ratio to help reduce the bubbles. You can find more details on their website FAQ for tips on reducing surface bubbles. I will link it in the description below. For this tray, I am estimating about 135 grams of product, so I am mixing 30 grams of a liquid and 105 grams of S3 powder. Now that the liquid and powder is mixed, I am going to add in my colors. We are doing a marble with a base color of pink, so I am using a small amount of the jasmineite red pigment. Since aqua resin has a base color of off-white, less red pigment will create the pink we want. Once the color is mixed in, I will use my hand mixer to fully mix the mixture before dropping in my pigments for the swirls. For the marble, we are going to carefully drop in two drops of the jasmineite terracotta pigment and stroll it around with a toothpick. Okay, so here I just wanted to test out if I could get some shine in as well with my good pigment. You'll see close up how this turns out when I demold it. Give it a few taps to help bring the bubbles to the surface and two hours later, we are ready to demold it. This is reminding me of strawberry and chocolate and it's so cute. This shape is so cute, I'll definitely have them available in my specs and store shop in my usual solid colors. I'm just trying to find some of the mica powder and it doesn't seem to be showing so I think that experiment was a fail. Maybe next time we'll just dust the powder on. I just want to end this with a little comparison video between the tray we made and the original. The aqua resin is a matte material so you can't really compare the shine here. If you used epoxy resin, it would definitely be shiny. But look at the different designs and colors that we can make in this flower shape now. Go check out my mold making video afterwards to see how you can make this mold as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed making this flower dish with me, 
please like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what you want to see next. I'll see you next time.